สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m a s t a n z a Welcome to this Wednesday, February 23 edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by PPCPhuket.com. It's official: the Thai government will no longer require international tourist arrivals who enter by a test and go scheme to take a second RT-PCR test on the fifth day of their stay here in the country, changing it to an antigen test kit instead. But other changes are also being made. The news was confirmed by the Phuket Info Center following an announcement by the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration, the CCSA, in Bangkok. Not only is the second RT-PCR test for test and go arrivals being replaced by an ATK test, but the CCSA also approved to reduce the required COVID insurance coverage for tourists from 50,000 US dollars to 20,000 US dollars. Both measures will come into effect on March 1st, according to officials. With the revocation of the second RT-PCR test for test and go arrivals, this means that tourists will only have to book one night at a government-approved hotel when they arrive, since they will only have to take one RT-PCR test upon entering Thailand and stay at that hotel until they get their results that first night. The other requirements to enter Thailand remain the same: tourists must register through the Thailand Pass system. Have proof of booking at an SHA Extra Plus hotel for the first night that they arrive, proof of completed vaccination at least 14 days before traveling, proof of health insurance coverage of no less than 20,000 US dollars, proof they tested negative for COVID-19 issued within 72 hours before departure, and then agree to test twice: the first upon arrival via RT-PCR test, the second time on the fifth day via antigen test kit. Again, all of this will go into effect on March 1st. While the nation is battling a spike in Omicron-led COVID cases, low mortality rate compared to the peak Delta wave means healthcare facilities can cope up with the outbreak, according to a government spokesman. And it comes as Thailand saw COVID cases jump to 21,000, jump to 21,232 on Wednesday, a six-month high. But the death stood at 39, compared with more than 300 a day during the peak of the Delta wave in August. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. The Phuket Office of the National Anti-Corruption Commission, the NACC, is confirming that they have found a former mayor of t e p a k a s a t r i Municipality guilty of corruption. Throughout his long delivery of this report, Mr. Suksam Prasarae, director of the NACC Phuket Office, did not name which former mayor had been found corrupt, and no explanation as to why the investigation took so long was given. Mr. Suksam said, "Quote." The NACC has considered the preliminary inquiry case, the case against the former t e p k a s a t r i mayor and government officials in t a l a n g who were accused of corruption in the procurement of the construction project of the t e p k a s a t r i municipality fresh market and of being unusually wealthy. The NACC has ruled that the former mayor of t e p k a s a t r i is a criminal because the official had the duty to buy, make, manage, or maintain any property and fraudulently exercise power in the position. This complaint that they're pointing to was filed. A whole five years ago, and p i a w a t j i r a Jamon was mayor of t e k a s a t r i at that time. Mr. p i a w a t was succeeded by Tanasan j i r a m o n The current mayor of t e k a s a t r i is Siri Charat t r a i r a t the sister of the former mayor Prasong t r a i r a t who resigned just months after he was elected in March of last year. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. Education officials have set up a fact-finding committee to investigate claims that went viral on Thai social media of a deputy director of a school in c h a y a p u m Province accused of offering better grades to girls. Who would visit him at his home? The school, which has not been named, reported the matter for the Office of the Basic Education Commission, or OBEC, in c h a y a p u m Province. After alleged chat conversations on Line application were posted on Twitter and began trending under a hashtag that translates to "a school with purple and yellow colors on Banatikan Road." 
A popular Facebook page also posted copies of the alleged chat conversations contributed by some students, according to the Bangkok Post. One of the conversations accused the deputy director of offering higher marks to a girl if she came to see him at his home, and he also allegedly offered to buy her any mobile phone that she wanted and said he was still single. The name of the school and the deputy director were not mentioned in any of the chats, though social media sleuths quickly picked up on it as the hashtag began to trend. It's now led to the creation of a fact-finding committee that has called the deputy school director for questioning and makes its report in seven days. For more, visit the link in the description. After two oil leaks this year, the Marine Department will look to revoke the operation license of Star Petroleum Refining PLC. The company is responsible for the two oil leaks this year, one on January 25th, with over 47,000 liters of crude oil spilled into the sea off Rayong province in the Gulf of Thailand, and another on February 10th, where reports say that another 5,000 liters of crude oil leaked. The Marine Department will have to propose the revocation of Star Petroleum's operating license to the Ministry of Transport, surmising that if they're allowed to continue operating, then there could be more damage to the environment in the future. The oil leaks from offshore mooring platform of Star Petroleum, the majority of which is owned by Chevron, has prompted officials in Rayong province to close the beach there and ban fishing along its shores. The damage to the local environment is so bad it's heavily affected the province's local tourism and fishing industry, with over 7,000 claims for compensation filed against the company. For more, visit the link in the description. Thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Thursday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.